Hello, hello. Welcome back. It is Dana. We are here with the Mindy Project, Season 1, Episode 7, Teen Patient. Um, last episode was a Thanksgiving episode where they were all sort of scattered. Danny was at the office watching TV and, like, eating by himself. Um, Jeremy and Betsy were together at Betsy's parents' house. I don't remember how they ended up together, but they did. And Mindy and, what is the name of the male nurse that she hired? I forget. I forget his name constantly. They both ended up at her friend Gwen's house for Thanksgiving. And Shauna was like, I don't know, at some model strip club party or something. I just remember like her like shooting champagne around with a bunch of girls who were in like party looking outfits. Um, it was a fine enough episode. Um, not one of my favorites, but I definitely laughed a lot and I definitely found a lot of humor in it, even though it wasn't my favorite. So, oh, the other big thing that happened in that last episode was Mindy and Josh, um, were like, they didn't know, he, he, she, I think, I think she expected him to want to be exclusive and he didn't want to. And then at the end, he called her from like a strip club and he was like, hey, I'm wrong. I'm here, but the only person, I'm here at the strip club, but the only person I'm thinking about is you. So it seems like maybe they're going to be like an official couple now, even though it's fairly obvious that she and I think Danny will probably end up together. I assume that's what our end game is supposed to be here, but I'm not really sure. But, um, teen patient. So this leads me to believe that this episode is probably going to be about, um, a teenager who needs some sort of gynecological services, and Mindy's going to help them in a very awkward way. <laughs> That's my assumption. So let's jump in. Let's do it. Hopefully it's delightful. So here we go. Uh, Mindy Project, Season 1, Episode 7, Teen Patient. Morning, Parker. How's your weekend? Oh, it's great, Dr. L. Who the hell's Parker? Do you think you could just Oh. Oh, yeah, sure. This seems like a bad idea. He's going to get hurt. Totally incapacitates them. Parker, that is so cool. Can I try it? Just come at me. Oh, he's going to get hurt. Imagine you're grieving your wife because Mindy killed her in a botched operation because she's in love with you. What? Yeah, okay. What? No. Okay. I'm ready. No. You killed my wife? Yes. We're going to make you a dead <laughs> Break the hole! Oh, God! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Good Lord! Morgan is his name. I'm gonna remember it. Fingers crossed. Um, but... That was a little ridiculous. And Parker is brand new. We've never met him before. Hey, Mindy. Hey, Sophia. Oh, I like your glasses. They're kind of like mine. Glasses twins. <laughs> totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is she going to be the teen patient? Well, I just left Jonathan. What are you reading? Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually a novelization of the film Iron Man. Gwyneth <laughs> Paltrow would be in it more. But it's, it's a novel. How, How could Gwyneth Paltrow be actually. in it? She's gonna need a gynecologist, I'm guessing. Mindy had great shoes in that shot too, even though I don't know how she could walk in them. Hello, this is a formal anonymous complaint alerting you to lewd and inappropriate workplace behavior, specifically Morgan the nurse openly. Hey, I just talked to our lawyer and we got a big problem. Yeah, what? I got an anonymous complaint between two employees. Ooh. That's what it's generally for. You're way too young for birth control. So you should be like drawing on the sidewalk with chalk. Oh. Alright, let's talk. Who what? is the guy? His name's Henry. We met in street art class. <laughs> like criminal Banksy. You're being very judgmental, Mindy. It's amazing. I 
really love him and we're ready to have sex. So I am beginning to understand why you did not want to go doll shopping with me earlier. Mm -hmm. It has come to my attention that there is come to my attention, Morgan, that you've been looking at Shauna inappropriately. <laughs> I didn't realize it. He's but hiding. I, I know it's true. Uh, Shauna, I, I assure you it will never happen again. I'm so sorry. All right. I mean, it was a pretty good apology. Oh, I didn't make a complaint. Treasure? No, I didn't. I like to be real fair on this. Does this always happen, Tony? I can't give this to you yet. Come on, Mindy. You know me. Yeah, but I don't know him. I just, okay. I'm sorry. I have to meet him. But he's in school. Okay, no. Here's the problem. Hey, Betsy. If you don't give her these this prescription for birth control she's going to have sex without birth control wouldn't you rather she use some ball well, yeah. uh, this will take longer right? yeah i'm just gonna ask henry a couple questions and if he kills it i will prescribe you any birth control you want and there's this new one from belgium that comes in a thing hey hey where you been henry this is mindy she's my doctor and my neighbor it's nice to meet you I'm gonna go. M move because I'm gonna. D I will have to sit down. <laughs> cool. That's a little Lounge. rude, but it's probably more because your shoes are tremendous. Henry, are they tells me that in? The two of you are considering taking your relationship. Are they in like detention? Like where are they? You want to be able to express it. I want to be with you forever. I'm so excited. Um, but what will happen when you go to college? Why are they doing this here? Why should I hold up on debt just to binge drink for four years when I could just create an app and that's be all the money I'll ever need? I need um, help. All right. I feel like this should be funny, but uh, I'm not laughing. It's definitely supposed to be funny, but it's not. I did get a nice shot of her shoes, though. Why are all these people, like, hanging out in this weird room? Like, what is it? See? I don't even think that sex is that big of a deal. No, 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 it is a big deal. What if you guys had a baby? I don't know. Sophia could take care of it, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I'm a babysitter. Like, no, no, no. You're not babysitting. Okay, you're no. Babies. You're going to college. Look, if I wanted to be questioned by some weird old lady, I'd go home and talk to my stepmom. I don't want to talk to <clears throat> I cannot sign off on this guy. How are you the ultimate judge of guys? I saw you hit on your Chinese delivery man one time. Okay, it was Valentine's Day. And how would you feel if I asked him a bunch of personal questions? I would be fine with that. And then oh. when is over, I welcome you to come to the apartment. No, no. I want to meet him today. I wrote that human resource complaint about Morgan staring at Shauna. What? Don't forget, Shauna. Do you think I'm pretty? What? Uh, I mean, hey. I guess. I think I'm having lunch with you. I don't know that you are. <laughs> hey. hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Good. Sophia wanted to talk to my super cool boyfriend to find out what a good adult relationship should look like. Mm. Are you two sleeping together? Yeah. That's cool. Yes. Do you use birth control? A couple different things. And if she got pregnant, would you like totally freak out? Oh, I have blitz cream every night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd freak out. And then I would help raise him. You would? Not 23 anymore. Kid sounds kind of cool. I love playing catch, but it's kind of weird. So <laughs> you guys are going to be like together forever? Uh, uh... Things are going really good. That's not what I asked. Henry says that we're going to be together forever. Will you and Mindy be together forever? Uh, you don't have to answer that. Actually, you do have to answer that question. Look, it's a nice idea, but I don't know if I could stay with one person for the rest of my life. You don't ever want to Man, except you two have a few things to discuss. That, so, I'm gonna let yeah, you I don't know what it is about this episode. I don't think it's particularly funny. I have a lot of issues with what Mindy is doing right now. And mostly, I just really want that hot dog sound. Sometimes marriage is like, great, but you have to be a kid to think that saying forever is the same as actually doing it. I mean, I'm so sorry. <laughs> as a doctor. The way they look at Shauna. All right. Well, here's part of the problem, Betsy. You're adorable, but you're wearing a shirt with a heart on it, and I like it, and I want it, but that's not how it works. Absolutely, you're pretty, you're, you're, you're cute, you're just, you're just Why does he keep wearing this weird tie that looks like it was knitted together? 
to squirt with me here, Betsy, okay? You're hot. You're hot. Okay? You're definitely hot. Well, it's working. Good. Your form is just it's very good. Oh, he's trying. You look like that movie. Dr. Castellano, oh, I think sometimes you just need your boss to tell you that you look sexy. No, that's... That's uh, not what happened. That wasn't what I was saying. Thank you so much. Betsy, please. Oh. <laughs> Oh, finally, those shoes are off. Look, I just came here to apologize to you. Oh, jeez. I think you're supposed to be your boyfriend has some stupid ideas about college, and he is literally covered in body spray. He's fine. And I'm not blind. And I is crazy bangable. Thank you. I'm just not crazy about you guys having sex already. Ow! You have got to be crazy. Here is what I've observed about you teenagers. One, you have terrible aim. You hit me in the head. You are obsessed with everything's forever best friends forever henry and sophia forever it's probably why you like teen vampires maybe you'll be really lucky and you'll find the perfect guy and you will stay together forever but i'll tell you one thing that always lasts forever friendship herpes oh it's gross and it is horrible i cannot keep you from getting your heart broken i can't even keep you from having sex but i can make sure that you're safe thank you you can't trust the guys in your life this was my biggest concern here is that they're going to have sex anyway. Quick trouble I'm going to give you two. I'm not worried about. Can I help you? Are you a parent? What are you handing out there? Um. This feels excessive. And I bet if I were a white man, I'd just walk into a house and throw sexual paraphernalia at kids. Throw. Although lots of things got thrown at her. By the way, just tell them that I'm not some crazy pervert. Well. <laughs> I shall give you How do you get bailed out of school jail? So I think Henry and I are gonna wait a while to have that that thing. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I mean, it was totally. A Why? I'm sorry about earlier. You don't have to be sorry. I was just surprised because I didn't know that this was so casual. It's not casual. No, it's just you just decided just to enjoy. not be casual. Casual. So it's scary. Well, yeah, we're, we're, negotiations are happening. I mean, ew. That is slime. That's gross. gross. No, it's awesome. No. All right, so this episode, not my favorite. Um, not really funny, didn't get a ton of the humor. I mean, I understood what was supposed to be funny, but it wasn't actually funny. So, not really a fan of that. Um, it was driving me crazy that it took Mindy the entire episode to realize whether or not she thinks they should be ha using birth control, she should still be giving it to them. Because if she doesn't, they're going to have sex without it. Has she never been a teenager before? And it's so much better to have protected sex than non-protected sex because you were hoping that they wouldn't have sex. Now, I know that's a whole... Thing. And if we just don't let kids have sex, they won't run into problems. But that's not reality, and we all know that. So I don't know if this was sort of like a, a pushback from the network or something, because, I mean, she did end up getting arrested in school jail after she gave out some condoms, which we totally should be doing. We should be giving condoms to everyone, especially like teenagers who are not going to go and buy them on their own. Because just saying to them, hey, listen... If you're in a situation where you're too uncomfortable or embarrassed or whatever to buy poor, to buy condoms or birth control, you're not ready to have sex, maybe that's true, maybe it's not, but they don't care. That's not going to stop them. So they're going to have sex anyway, they're going to have unprotected sex, and they're going to end up with some sort of sexually transmitted disease, or they're going to end up pregnant. And in the world in which we live in today, there are not a whole lot of options necessarily for becoming pregnant. So just 
this turned into a rant about why we should be giving people birth control. But all I meant was Mindy should know better, especially as a gynecologist, especially as a doctor. There's no reason. I really thought this was going to, you know, immediately when she came in and she was like, I want to talk about birth control. I thought Mindy was just going to whip out like a chart and be like, okay, here are the things we have. Here's what's good for you. Tell me what, you know, what you're thinking. I really thought it was going to be an, an immediate, like, that kind of discussion, not a... I have to meet your boyfriend, and, like, that's not, like, a thing. No one does that. But I do like her friend, um, Ben. Big fan of Ben. I hope he sticks around, even though I don't really think that, what is the name of that girl, will be sticking around. Um, but, I don't know, this episode mostly missed the mark for me. Um, that's not to say that I'm not going to continue watching this show, because one bad episode doesn't mean a whole lot. And again, it wasn't a bad episode. Like, I'm not upset that I watched it. Um, there was an episode of Glow that I am annoyed, and I want my 30 minutes back <laughs> after I watched it. But I don't feel that way about this one. It was just fine. It was whatever. I'm not upset that I watched it. But I do hope that going forward, the episodes are much more funny than this one was. Um, I, I, I'm not sure exactly how the whole Danny trying to tell Betsy without telling her that she's a, like, here's the thing. Like, I feel like there's no, he, there's no good way for him to have that conversation. He wants to be a good guy. He wants to do the right thing. He wants to tell her that, you know, she isn't like a troll and she's attractive because it's the right thing to do when he's a nice guy and he doesn't want her to be sad and feel bad about herself. But the second that he says something like, yes, you are attractive. Yes, I find you sexy. Yes, you look like Jessica Rabbit. A whole can of worms gets opened up. Even if it was just not meant as anything, it doesn't matter. We live in a very litigious society right now and you can't do things like that. Um, but... In all honesty, what was he supposed to do? Was he supposed to say, Betsy, this person who I like and you're my coworker and we work well together and I enjoy your company as an adult human being, you look like a troll? No, he can't, like, there's just no good way for him to get around that. So I feel badly for him in that instance, but she seemed happy about it, but I don't know how that's going to play out. And we never heard again about what happened after Morgan completely knocked out the intern who we'd never seen before. Um, but we do know that he's bringing dogs into the building, which in a medical facility just freaks me out. And ugh, everything should be sterile and clean and we shouldn't be having dogs in there. But he is. Uh, Danny told him not to, but he don't, I don't think he's going to stop. So anything else? Mindy and Josh may or may not last forever. Eh, whatever. I, I think that they're nice together. Their relationship is just fine. I don't think they're end game, But I'm enjoying it for what it is. Um, I think that's it. All right. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. I enjoyed it as much as I could. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.